Moringa is a multi-purpose tropical tree with a tremendous variety of potential uses. Even though it has been quite well known to the ancient world, it has only been recently rediscovered in West Africa where it has been underexploited. Despite the several uses of Moringa and the revealing information on the nutritive values, the crop has not been given any due attention by governments of developing countries. Governments in third world countries have preferred giving supplementary vitamins to children than considering the promotion of such vitamins and nutrients as could be found in a crop such as Moringa. Moringa olifera belongs to a monogeneric family of shrubs and trees, Moringa sine, and originates from the sub-Himalayan mountains of India. The tree's name is derived from the Indian Murungo and the Latin word for oil-bearing, olifera. There are 14 species in general, but the most important of them are the Moringa olifera and Moringa stenopetella. Currently, it is cultivated all over the tropics, including Ghana. It is not strange that Moringa olifera is known as the divine tree among its numerous attributes. Virtually, every part of the tree is beneficial in some way, which is of great importance in areas where people solely depend on nature for their livelihood. Indeed, there is nothing that needs to be wasted. Indian Asian tradition of Ayurveda says the leaves of the Moringa tree prevent 300 diseases. Scientific research has proven that these humble leaves are in fact a powerhouse of nutritional value. Gram for gram, Moringa leaves contain seven times vitamin C in oranges, four times the calcium in milk, four times vitamin A in carrots, two times the protein in milk, and three times the potassium in bananas. Unfortunately, while science sings the praises of Moringa leaves, this vital information has not reached the people who need it most. But not all people have turned a blind eye on this important tree. A number of scientists have and continue to work on Moringa. Adra Ghana, having included Moringa on its food security program, has encouraged each client farmer to grow two, three or four Moringa trees at their backyard. As a measure to combat nutritional problems, most development programs are promoting alternate sources of rich protein food. Moringa is one such crop that promises a balanced diet. It could be extensively grown and introduced for sustainable production and utilization in deprived communities. Indeed, there are several reasons why everybody should have a Moringa tree at his backyard. Experts agree that the long-term solution to malnutrition is the use of foods rich in essential nutrients often lacking in most people's diets. Modern scientific research is proving that Moringa leaves are of the richest sources of such nutrients. Even the use of small amounts of the leaves could protect thousands of people from suffering and death. Adra Ghana, supported by USAID, is using a two-pronged approach to highlight the usefulness of Moringa to its client farmers, namely workshops, and food demonstrations. One such workshop was organized at Brikumansu near Asamankasi in the West Achim district of the Eastern region. Moringa leaves could be processed in a variety of ways. Adra Ghana workshops and cooking demonstrations create the awareness of 